June here in Atlanta. Thank you for joining us on the scene. I'm Chris Stewart. For the next four hours, we will take you everywhere you need to be around the world live. Here's what we're following on this Wednesday. Take a look at your screen. You can see the UN General Assembly continuing on. We're following multiple events taking place there. We are expecting Secretary of State Antony Blinken speaking at that G20 meeting of foreign ministers shortly. We'll monitor that. Former President Donald Trump in the battleground state of North Carolina today. He's expected to speak at 1 o'clock. We'll bring you those remarks when they happen. Taking a look at the Dow, down to start the day. Markets close at 4 o'clock Eastern. And we now have a hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico. Hurricane Helene, a Category 1 storm, making its way in the direction of Florida's Gulf Coast. A lot to talk about regarding that storm over the course of our show today. We begin on the scene in the Middle East. Lebanon's health ministry says at least 10 people are dead, several others injured from multiple Israeli airstrikes across Lebanon. The new strikes are in response to Hezbollah firing dozens of projectiles into Israel, including a missile that was intercepted near Tel Aviv. International correspondent Sarah Coates joins us now uh, live from Tel Aviv. Sarah, I know you have uh, been in Tel Aviv uh, for months since this war began. What is the mood in that city as we're seeing tensions rise with Hezbollah to the north? state of Georgia as well. And look at all of this. Well, yeah, and if we can dive in for a second, Scott, sure. into Atlanta, not just because we're here, but also, I mean, this is a major metropolitan yeah. area that is feeling the impacts of what could be a hurricane. So the big metro areas that are going to get, you're going to feel this, are Tallahassee. The parents will understand. So this show is going to go in so many directions. Yeah, I have a toddler. She gets in, like, the back corner, and then you're trying to go, and then you got to reach in, and then your back sore for days. I could go on five. We need five weight classes. We need, uh, weight, we, we need weight divisions I for, agree. The, for the pier. And that'll happen. That's former President Trump speaking in Savannah, Georgia, on the campaign trail. You hear him laying out even more details of a plan to rely on tariffs if he were to be elected into office. He believes that that would uh, spark U.S. manufacturing. You do have economists, including those at Goldman Sachs, who believe that blanket tariffs like the ones that the former president has proposed in his economic plan would actually raise prices by thousands of dollars on American consumers. Important contacts as we continue to follow the race for the White House now six weeks away. All right, as we had to break, let's go on the scene to New York. President Biden hosting an event called the Global Coalition to Address Synthetic Drug Threats. He's expected to speak at 1 30 we'll be right back on scripts news i'm told that we have to go quickly but i'll put you on the spot alabama georgia this weekend who's winning great game one of them i, I think oh. george, 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 it's george, georgia owns the sec until yeah. someone takes it away i'll go with kalen DeBoer is going to get his real indoctrination to his new this conference is the real one. Huge. all right more scripts news next and the, the storm's rights today, Chris, this is going to be a massive storm. Yeah, you have states as far away as Virginia, Scotty, that are, that are yeah. calling for a state of emergency. I want to bring up a, a camera shot that we've been watching uh, out of Lee County, Florida, mm -hmm. if we have it. But, Scott, Lee County is about 300 miles away yeah. from where this storm is expected to make land, landfall. Here it is on the screen. You can yeah. see the wind moving it around. The fact that we are seeing these type of conditions... So hundreds of miles away. What does that say about the size of this storm? Well, out war and in saying that flights continue to be cancelled from Beirut International Airport and also right here in Tel Aviv, Chris. And Sarah, at the same time, as we focus on what's also happening, continuing to happen in Gaza, President Biden earlier today continuing to call for a ceasefire deal, hostage release deal. Based off what you're seeing right now, what is the reality of that happening? From what I've been hearing from people, uh, not